my dear brothers and sisters i greet you in the name of jesus and mother mary today is the 7th of september the ninth day of the novena today's theme is do whatever he tells you let us begin this novena in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us listen to the scripture reading from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 2, verses 3 and 3 to 5. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My, my hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. These words were spoken by our Blessed Mother at the first of Jesus' miracles. Do whatever he tells you. They are profound and powerful words which can easily serve as the foundation of our spiritual lives. Of course, Jesus did not need this advice, but he desired to receive it from his mother. He desired to hear his mother speak to him these words of perfect love. In pondering these words once spoken at Cana, our Blessed Mother and her Divine Son would have shared a deep union as they gazed at each other during his agony on the cross. As we heard yesterday, Jesus gave Mother Mary to John as his mother and made her as the, as the spiritual mother of us all. Being her children, she will always speak these words to us whenever we go away from her son. Do what my son has told you. From the time she accepted her mission from God through the angel, Mother Mary never stopped doing what God asked her to do. In this way, she fulfilled the will of God in her life. Mary had learned to recognize God's voice, to seek his help in prayer, then to discern what he was asking her to put it into practice. Mary teaches us that doing whatever the Lord asks can be difficult, requiring prayerful discernment, readiness to surrender our own plans, and allowing the Lord to be the master of our lives. Still, Mary gave an unconditional yes to God's plan, completely trusting in his goodness. In Mary, we have great example to imitate her. Mary is the daughter of the Eternal Father. She is the mother of the Eternal Son, and she is the mystical spouse of the Holy Spirit. In other words, Mary is in, intimately united to the Trinity, and she can unite us with God. For that reason, St. Louis de Montfort says, Mary is the quickest, shortest, and easiest path to Jesus. If we get to know Mary, then we love her. If we love her, then we want to imitate her. Finally, we become like the one we love. Therefore, let us pray for the grace to imitate the Blessed Virgin Mary in her most sublime virtues. She will lead us to heaven. Reflect upon these words and know that mother and son speak them to you. No matter what you face in life, our Blessed Mother and her Divine Son are inviting you into this glorious command of love and obedience. They are exhorting you to stay faithful through all struggles, in good times, in difficult ones, through pain and joy. 
no matter what you experience in life, these words must always resound within your mind and heart. Do whatever he tells you. Do not hesitate to hear and embrace these holy words. Prayer My loving mother, help me to listen to you speak these words to me. Help me by the power of your prayers to respond to this calling to embrace the perfect will of God in my life. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us celebrate with joy the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that she may intercede for us with our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Your nativity, O Virgin Mother of God, was the herald of joy to the whole world. Since from you arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God, who destroying the curse bestowed the blessing, and confounding death rewarded us with life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mary, our mother, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.